Was Mary of Tech a thief? Did Queen Mary have a royal case of the picky fingers? Did the Queen of England have a secret penchant for pinching precious trinkets from stately homes? Downton Abbey's latest film throws open the doors to a juicy historical debate. Was Queen Mary of Tech, grandmother to the current monarch, a serial souvenir swipe dealer? Step into the glittering world of the 1920s, where the Crawleys prepare for the most prestigious guests ever, none other than King George V and Queen Mary. But amidst the flurry of fancy frocks and frantic footmen, a shadow lurks. Mysterious treasures vanish. A paper knife from the library, a cupid from the mantelpiece. Could the culprit be the queen herself, with a not-so-royal case of sticky fingers? Whispers of Queen Mary's light-fingeredness have swirled for decades. Stories abound of her admiring trinkets in grand houses, then subtly coercing their owners to gift them or sell them for a pittance. Aristocrats scramble to hide their valuables, fearing the queen's gaze. But hold your horses, scandal-mongers. While Queen Mary was certainly a passionate collector, her motives were far from petty thievery. Her sights were set on jewels, antiques and miniatures, not teaspoons and teacups. Her goal, to enrich the royal collection, not line her own pockets. So was Queen Mary a kleptomaniac, driven by uncontrollable urges, or a determined collector with a knack for persuasive charm. History offers no definitive answer, but Downton Abbey serves up a tantalising glimpse into the intriguing grey area where regal collecting and questionable practices collide. Listen for the story and let me know in the comments whether you think the Queen really had a penchant for stealing. From royal outcast to Queen Collector, the remarkable life of Mary of Tech. Born a princess without a throne, Mary of Tech navigated debt, tragedy and royal politics to become the Queen of England, leaving an undeniable mark on the world. Not your average royal, despite aristocratic connections, Mary's family was constantly strapped for cash, forcing them to flee creditors and settle in Italy. This unconventional upbringing fostered her love for art and architecture, setting the stage for her future collecting prowess. Love, loss and a new crown. Queen Victoria saw in Mary the steady character that she lacked in her heir, Prince Albert Victor. Their engagement, however, was tragically cut short by his death. Undeterred, Victoria championed Mary's marriage to Albert Victor's younger brother, the future King George V propelling Mary from royal nobody to future queen. She was a queen with a mission. Mary wasn't your typical tiara-wearing monarch. She possessed a deep reverence for the royal family, the very institution that transformed her life, but also a burning desire to recover lost treasures. Determined to rebuild the royal collection, she used her charm, or some might say pressure, to convince aristocratic families to return pieces with royal connections. Queen of trinkets and treasures, miniatures, figurines, Fabergé eggs, Indian art and gemstones, these were Mary's collecting passions. While known for her personal frugality, she spared no expense in enriching the royal legacy. Interestingly, she also had a cultural patron, saving the Royal School of Needlework from financial ruin and gifting her iconic dollhouse to the world. So, was Mary just a royal kleptomaniac or a passionate collector? History leaves the answer open to interpretation, but one thing's for sure, Queen Mary's life was a fascinating journey from an uncertain beginning to a reign that left a lasting impact on the art world and beyond. Ravelling the Royal Collector, Queen Mary's treasure trove of truth in fiction. Queen Mary's life was a tapestry woven with threads of royal history, passionate collecting and whispers of scandal, but what truly lies beneath the surface of her vast collection. She was obsessed with history, from a young age, Mary was instilled with a love for her family's legacy by her mother, a granddaughter of King George III. The passion manifested as a relentless pursuit of royal artefacts, pictures and objects fueled by her own funds and a fervent desire to preserve the past.
Some people acknowledge have compulsive purchases, but they do emphasize acquiring items of historical significance, not pilfering them. Her son, the Duke of Gloucester, even bore the brunt of her enthusiasm, inheriting a vast and impossible silver tea urn, solely due to its royal connection. Though not deemed particularly valuable as art, Mary's collection held immense historical significance. The nuance is often lost, as stories of her being a kleptomaniac snatching trinkets from stately homes persist in popular narratives. Biographers like Anne Edwards debunk these sensationalised portrayals, highlighting the lack of evidence and the Queen's aversions to handbags, making such accusations even more implausible. Downton Abbey, the film, offers a refreshing perspective, depicting a benevolent Queen who intervenes positively and even suggests a non-scandalous reason for missing items during royal visits. The verdict, Queen Mary's collection may have sparked whispers and rumours, but closer examination reveals a passionate collector driven by a genuine desire to preserve her family's heritage. Downton Abbey's portrayal might just be the turning point in separating fact from fiction about this fascinating but misunderstood historical figure.